Mr. President. <laughs> oh, that protocol of that. I think we have to bear in mind that our Muslim colleagues who go to mosque at 1.30 have to be brief. I want to welcome you all to this great event uh, put together by my leader. The youth leader is my leader. Because very soon I will be an old man sitting somewhere in my retirement home and he will come to look after me. So he's the leader. All of you here are leaders of the next generation. Let me tell you that as a young man, I needed my father. My father helped in guiding me. And when he died, I didn't feel like an orphan. I want to assure you all that in today's Nigeria, destructive as the other party has destroyed the country, you still have a father. And that father is a particular He will rebuild this country and hand over to you. We don't hand over a destroyed house to your son. So it is our responsibility to rebuild Nigeria before we hand over to the new generation. All of you are ready for leadership. Let me inform you that I graduated at the age of 23. I finished my PhD at the age of 31. I became a senator at the age of 39 and a senior president at the age of 40. Any young, young man, young, young lady can do that. Let nobody stop you. March on, united and strong. And the sky is your limit. Under the PDP, there's no limitation for anybody. All of you are going to be taken care of when we form the next government in May next year. There will be sufficient youth representation in the government, whether in elected positions or in appointed positions. PDP is the only party that has done it in the past and will do it again. We will rebuild this country and you will have a better country. Power belongs to you. Power does not belong we, the whole generation, we are only rebuilding to hand over to my God's